are here at SeaWorld Orlando and we just wrote Pipeline. As it goes by. It just went by, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, as you can see, I'm trying to show, hold the, the camera real steady, but I am energized and I'm a little shaken up. That was awesome. It was fun. That's my second stand-up coaster. Uh, my first one was actually Riddler's Revenge at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This one, and that, I will say, this one is entertaining. It was fun. I I really like the whole theming of it being a board and water in the ocean. And especially in the beginning when you're going through the curve, it just, it fits so perfectly riding a wave. And it's just, it's riding a wave on land. Like, it just looks so cool. Yeah, so for all you surfers out there, it does kind of give you the same exact sense of surfing on pipeline or just the ocean. And then, of course, with SeaWorld, they actually got to do the educational and show you about how to clean the ocean and all that, which they had throughout the line. They're actually still working on it. Opening day is tomorrow. And, yeah, you guys got to ride this one. Um, I'm nervous getting on it because I haven't been on a standing coaster in a while. But this one, for the manly bits, wasn't bad. It was a lot better than Riddler's. I remember Riddler's like it was yesterday. And that was a long time ago. Uh, but other than that, it was comfortable. Now the airtime. Ooh. That feels Ooh. so different Ooh. because it's actually yeah. when you're like going down, the seat actually moves up, so your feet leave the board underneath you, so you're just floating in air as you're going down. Yeah, it's so a, it, it actually does give you the feeling of being in the ocean when the wave comes through and you're, you're like sitting in the wave of how you kind of come up and then down with the wave, like it feels just like it. Now, there is a height requirement. Um, I will show you guys the, the rules and all that, but I believe you can't be higher than no more than six feet, eight inches, just because of the way the, the seats move. Okay. Some coaster facts, I believe it says 60 miles an hour. The launch didn't really snap back, but it's more like a gradual launch. Yeah. But it's not no slouch. This, it, this, this is a family coaster, but it's more of a step up to, hey, I want to... I want to take my kids and all that and work them way up to like Mako or something. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's definitely different. I don't think there's anything like it else in the state, at least. No, because it's stand-up coaster, but it's the only stand-up coaster that actually has mov movable seats. Yeah, so this one's <laughs> unique. I think even, you know, it could be, it's smaller than the other rides, but I still think it has such a unique feel and vibe to it like I think you should try it out no matter what. Kind of small as Icebreaker. It's actually bigger than Icebreaker but it's in yeah. between uh like say Kraken and then Manta. Yeah. So it's kind of a hey I want to get into roller coasters but I want to I don't want to get to the big ones unique, yet. Yeah. So we got like the first trial run you know. And then you also have like a little water feature right here so Right now it's doing its own little thing, but when the coaster comes down right here, you can the water actually extends as you're surfing the wave. And then right here, it's a crazy, crazy feeling. You gotta try it yourself. I can't really, really explain it. This right here, this little bunny hop, more than a bunny hop, that got me. <laughs> that really got me. <laughs> it's like you, you leave the seat right there. This has a crazy feeling and then all that section back there is just all out fun So we rode it a second time and we rode it on the back side. Um, after that first launch and then that first curve, yeah, my little feet were, <laughs> they were dangling. Ah! <laughs> uh, the front, um, you feel more G's, the back, it is all you. You are not, feels like you're not attached to nothing. Yeah. Again, my feet, <laughs> I wish I got that on video, but I did not. Uh, <laughs> it's will, an experience. Yeah. 
We yeah. will come back and write it again, probably the middle row, but like I said, the first row, towards the front, we roll second row, more G-forces, and airtime. Second to last row or whatever, <laughs> airtime. It was like negative Gs, straight airtime. Slinging you everywhere. Yes, it was. But we want to say thank you for Zero for inviting us out. Yeah. That was awesome. Tomorrow, again, it does open to the public. You got to come here. So you do have Tron recently opened at Disney World, Magic Kingdom. Velocity Coaster, I will say that's still my top one. And then you also have this, well, sorry. Then you also have Icebreaker. And then you also have this beauty that opened up within the recent years. Velocity Coaster, top. This one, I like, I would say I enjoyed a little bit more than Tron. Really? Tron, wow. Tron I like because the bike, I like it. It's cool, I'm not knocking it. <laughs> but this one was fun. It like, was, it was fun. and it's longer. Yeah, yeah it's about almost the same. You think so? Yeah, yeah it's almost the same. Okay. Tron, it just goes really quick. Tron is cool, but I'll say Velocicoaster, it's going to take a lot for me to top that. Yeah. Then I'll say Cert, uh, Pipeline. I was about to call it the original, uh, original name, but Pipeline is the name they choose. And then I'll say Tron. Those are the recent ones that have opened recently that are my top three yeah. I can agree with that yeah 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 it was definitely a totally different animal and it's kind of nice to, to actually ride something that's totally different from everything else that's around here so it's definitely gonna sit up higher on my list so I think I would agree with yours yeah I think mine's pretty close and they put you know they put like a nice theme to it I know they don't put too much theme to it they're not like Disney but you know Universal but I think they did a great job Mm -hmm. Again, if you like what we do, give a thumbs up, subscribe. My name is Darius. I'm Ashley. See you again, clubbers. Bye. You better come out right. Surf's up, dude. <laughs>